Hi everyone, today I wanted to talk a little bit about managing your to-dos or task in, in your Lotus Notes client. And I also wanted to talk about managing to-dos um, in our IBM Connections activities. Um, and all of this would be as if you were connected to IBM Smart Cloud, or for that matter, it could be on premises as well. But for the main purpose of this, for the purposes of this, we're going to be using Smart Cloud um, connections and activities as our backend connection solution. So first, just a quick overview on um, Notes client to dos, because there's actually a lot of capabilities just in the Notes client itself. So how do you get to to-dos in the Notes client? So as you can tell here, I'm on my um, Discover page, and I'm looking at the quick links view, and you notice there's a to-do um, here. If I click to-do here, it'll open up my to-dos app. My personal preference is using the left-hand navigator over on the side, or the open list, if you will. Uh, and you can click the check mark here um, for the to-dos application. And when you click that, it opens up your to-dos. So here are your to-dos. Obviously, mine right now is blank, but we're going to create a few to-dos. Um, obviously, um, from here inside of our to-do app, um, you could do new to-do to create a new to-do on the fly. If you just have something that you think of and you want to create a to-do really quick, this is one way you could certainly do that. Um, we'll take a look at the form and stuff behind because what I really want to show is the integration with mail both from a just a notes perspective and from a connections activities perspective. So we'll start with the notes piece first. Um, at least three ways um, you could create a new to do from within your mail file. You notice here that I'm in a folder called demo and that I've got two emails in this folder um, from a person named Reagan Mars. So we're going to take a look at this first one here, Reagan Mar, Joe to update sales team. Um, if I wanted to create a new to-do from here, I could right-click and say copy into new to-do. Um, I could also do more, copy into to-do. But the easiest way, because we all like as few clicks as possible, is to drag and drop. So I'll grab this message, I'll drag it over here to the left hand side to the to do's, let go, and you'll notice that this is now, um, that that email has been taken and created in a new to do. Okay, so what are my options here? One, I can assign priorities, um, high, medium, low, or no priority. I can change the subject. For this case, you'll notice that when you're using the drag and drop from an email or the copy into the subject of the email comes into the subject of the to-do. Um, here we'll say Joe Q4 forecast update to team. Um, I can assign a um, do by. So I'll say that I want this done on the um, on Monday the 25th, and I'll also let Joe start on it on the 25th as well. Um, not a problem there. Um, also, I can uh, repeat this even if I wanted to, right? So I could repeat this um, just like I can a calendar entry. I could have it repeat in certain intervals. Um, I could assign this to myself, or I could assign it to other people. So here we'll say other people. Um, you'll notice that the um, sender and the recipients are included in the required field. I don't want any of those people assigned to this specific one, so I'm just going to start typing Joe's name. Of course, type ahead takes, um, goes into effect, and we can select Joe's name from type ahead. I can also do groups as well. I have a personal group called My Team. Um, I could add My Team to this as a group, and it would add all the members of My Team um, to the required list or even the optional or FYI. Um, we're not going to do that right now, though. I could set alarms on this if I wanted to for notifications. Um, I could add categories to this. Categories could be used for easy sorting um, of my, um, of my to-dos or even, for that matter, my calendar entries. So I could assign a specific um, category to this um, to-do um, entry. We can even assign colors um, to um, our categories. So you could use this to assign colors. That way, when your to-dos are displayed in your calendar under a specific category, um, it has a specific look, it has a specific background, and it has a specific text color. That way, you know your own categories, um, and they're displayed in your calendar to you in those specific colors. Very easy way to find um, or, or to be able to differentiate in the types of entries inside of your calendar, because all of your dues to-dos um, can and will display inside of your um, notes calendar.
Okay, so a little um, bit more here about this. Um, since we did a drag and drop and this had an attachment, you'll notice that the attachment is here in the description field. If I want to add additional text, I can. If I want to add additional attachments, I can. Okay, so we're assigning this to Joe and we're going to say save and send assignments now. So that is now sent um, out um, to Joe and it's um, also showing up in my calendar as well. So you can actually see that really quick, right? And my day at a glance and my sidebar over here, it shows immediately over here. If I go to my calendar, it shows over here as well. And it also, of course, would show in my to-dos um, here in this view up here as well in the app. Um, a couple of other things about the to-dos in the notes application. Um, you can click owner actions from in here. Um, you could reschedule it, you could cancel it, you could confirm it just like you can calendar entries. You can in view invitee status so you can tell when Joe actually accepts um, the uh, to do or when he marks it complete. Um, you can also send emails um, to all the, the invitees to your to do just like you can a calendar entry. So lots of different capabilities from here um, that you can see. Um, directly from within the to-do or within different views inside of the calendar. And one last one within notes, you'll notice that I have my um, follow-up or to-do window um, over here below my inbox um, and my folders list changed to to-do. You notice there's different options for follow-up, new calendar notices or to-dos. Well, right now we've selected to-dos. So we can see um, my to-do items um, over here in this window as well. So lots of different places that we can do that. Now, with that being said, um, and everything moving to social these days and to get stuff out of the inbox and make make um, additional people aware of stuff and not just Joe and myself and the person who sent me the email, Reagan Mars, we can add this to social activities. Um, the first example we'll use would be an activity that has multiple people in it. Um, so you'll notice over here, I'm going to switch my um, activities view, which has been integrated um, into the notes sidebar here, um, to all of the activities that I have out in Smart Cloud. So these are various activities that I have over here, and of course I can act on them directly from here as well. Um, but the first thing we're going to take a look at is this email from Reagan Mars called New Product Launch. I want to add this to my design team activity. So I'm going to grab this email, and I'm going to drag and drop it over here into this activity. It's going to publish this email to the activity. Um, and it's created a new entry now in the activity. So we can see that here, the new entry. And we can also see the attachment that was part of the email as well. Now one thing about this is this is not an actual to-do item. It's not been assigned to anybody as of yet. So um, when we have the notes integration here, what we have to do is we have to right click on this and we're going to say add to do. And you'll notice that this do item window opens up um, from connections. We are going to um, say for this to do, we're going to say update entire team on final A200 design. We're going to give this a due date of Monday. We could add social tags to this if we wanted to. So we could say A200. Um, we could say design. We could say final. We could add it to a section if we want to. We can assign it to specific people. This activity only has two members. Of course, this activity could have hundreds or thousands of members. But this time, I want Kyle to give the update to the entire team on A200 design because he's most familiar with it. So I'm going to actually assign this to Kyle. You see I have my rich text editor field down here. I could add additional text if I wanted to. Um, I could even attach new files to um, this to-do item if I want to as well. But now I've got the to-do created. I've got a due date. I've assigned it to someone. And I'm going to click Save. So now you'll see um, the to-do item is here in the activity. Okay, it's here now. All right, let's go back and let's also say that um, just as an example, I want to add an email to a personal activity of mine. I want to make sure that I act on a specific email. So we're going to use the Joe to update sales team email again. But this time I'm going to add this to my own personal activity that I have created inside of Smart Cloud to track my own to-dos. It's a, one of the really common use cases for activities that people use it on a personal basis.
So I'm going to take this email and I'm going to drag and drop it over here into Alan's info. And you'll see again it creates the entry. I'm going to assign myself a to-do item based off of this entry. Okay. Um, update Joe on new numbers. This time I'm going to update Joe. And I'm going to do this on Monday. I could add tags again if I wanted to. I'm going to assign this one to myself because I need some more work to do. <laughs> like we all do, right? And of course, I could do um, the rich text and, and all that fun stuff down here in the design if I want to, but we don't need to do that now. So I'm going to save this. And now I've created a new to do um, that has been um, assigned to myself, which we see here. And I could actually open this up from here or even use the slide out to act on it. So with the slide out, I could add a comment. I could add another to do even. I could mark it complete. But what I could also do is open this up completely, edit it, add responses, and mark complete from here as well. Okay, I'm not going to do any of those just yet. So I'm going to close that now. So what all did we just see just then? So we saw drag and drop capabilities um, for using to-dos in the notes client. We also saw um, managing to-dos um, using social-based activities um, hosted in Smart Cloud, integrated directly into the Notes client. That way, I don't actually have to go anywhere. One final thing I do want to show, though, here in the Notes client is the fact that to-do entries hosted inside of Smart Cloud can be overlaid into your Notes calendar. So if I refresh the, re the views on my calendar real quick, we'll see a couple of new things show up in here, right? So one, we'll see the Joe Q4 um, forecast update to the team, the one that I assigned to Joe earlier inside of Notes, shows here. But we also see the activity that I uh, the activity to do item that I assigned to myself show on my calendar for Monday as well. That way, when I see my calendar on Monday, I know that this to do item is here. I don't actually have to go to the browser or anywhere else to see that. I see it directly from in here inside of my Notes client. One final thing on this, let's go see what we did um, if we look at it through the um, browser interface on all the actions that I just did. So if I open up the browser interface to my activities and I go into Alan's info, let's take a look at, at how it looks in here. So we know that I created the, um, the entry for Joe to update the sales team. I created a to-do entry off of that and assigned it to myself. And we also see the attachment that was part of that um, email as well here in the activity. So if I go back to my activities, and if we look at the design team activity, in the design team activity, we see the new product launch email that I added to the activity. We see the attachment from the activity, and we see the to-do item that was created, um, that I created in the notes client and assigned to Kyle is here. Now one final thing that I do want to show is how do people know this if they come in through the browser. So if Kyle logs in first thing on Monday um, and doesn't check his email first but he logs in and looks at his activity stream, Kyle's going to notice that he has some new action required over here just like I do because I assigned myself one of these to-dos. So the to-do item that I assigned to Kyle he would get an email notification so it show up in his inbox, but he also is going to see it in his activity stream as well. Just like in my activity stream, I see the um, new to-do item that was assigned to myself. So I know that this has to be done, that this was assigned to me. And the great thing about it is, is I don't actually have to go out to the activity and act on it um, if, I don't, if, if I don't need to. I can actually act on it directly from here in the slide out window even. So I wanted to be able to show all of these different um, integration points um, and, and different capabilities when you're using Smart Cloud um, with your Notes client um, and activities and to-dos, whether you would prefer to use the, the to-dos directly in the Notes client or social-based um, to-dos inside of activities. Thank you very much.